this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I am continuing my wedding planner duties at the, the moment. Basically, um, Hudson is having his wedding, and he needs me to invite some people. Luckily, though, the people I need to invite are just chilling out right outside the, the front of my house, so I didn't have to, to go too far in order to, to be able to invite them. So yeah, let's ask them to, to go, and let's see if we can have the, the wedding. Hey! Wait, wait, what? Hudson's getting married? And he wants me to attend the wedding? Wow, good on him. Okay, so I just need to head over to Tarrytown. Uh, yes, please do. Ha, this'll be fun. Okie doo. <laughs> Is it just, I think, I think I need to invite, um, the other one as well. Is it Carson? Oh yeah, there we go. Carson's going as well. Carson, we're headed out. Finally, we've been waiting for this day. Right then, so it looks like that's uh, everyone going to the, the wedding. If you don't know what is going on with this wedding, basically, uh, Tarry Town is the town that I've been gradually building up throughout basically the majority of this Let's Play. I've been getting loads of people there to build and set up shops and stuff. The town seems to be pretty much finished being built in terms of the actual town being built. But now, uh, Hudson, who was kind of the, the founder of the, the town, uh, he's fallen in love with a Zora, uh, and I'm going to be kind of just helping them out, I guess, as that's what I do. I'm Link, I'm the hero of time, and I'm, you know, saving the world and sorting out everyone else's little problems. <laughs> it is so weird, I was like, you need to, like, save the entire world from the evil Ganondorf. But first, can you bring me three fish to make my wife happy or whatever, like, <laughs> the weird zany side missions that there, there are that you need to, to do as well. But this has been something that I've been looking forward to for, for ages, because Tarot Town's become, like, one of my favourite places to, to go out of all of the, the areas, like... I think, I think it's where I'm going to be doing just most of my shopping and stuff, because up until now, I've always just been going back to, to Kakariko Village. And Kakariko Village, it's fine, it's lovely, but like, I went there right at the beginning of the game, and I've spent so much time there. It's nice just to have a little bit of a change, and look how cool this place is, wouldn't you want to live here? I mean, you'd be a little bit worried, like, <laughs> there is a bit of a, a sudden drop in every single direction apart from the, the bridge. But apart from that, it looks lovely here. I don't see many preparations for the wedding yet, though, which is the... The only thing that's worrying me. They haven't they haven't done too many decorations, but maybe once I uh, go and speak to, to him, uh, then they're going to go and, uh, and start everything ready. Oh, no, it wasn't a Zora. It wasn't a Zora. Okay, sorry, my bad. <laughs> anyway, let's speak to Hudson. Hey, you extended my invitation for me. Thank you. Now then, Carson and the boss Bolson are waiting for things to begin. Shall we start the ceremony? Of course. Why is he asking me? It's your wedding. Why are you asking this random <laughs> person that showed up? Understood. Well, if you're ready, Link, then we'll start the wedding. Were they just here waiting for me to show up? I suppose I kind of should be here because I did kind of make the whole down. Anyway, then let's start, uh, join the, the gathering. Okay, it looks like uh, they're going to go and get everything ready for the uh, uh, for it now. Hopefully they're going to have good food because my health isn't kind of fully topped up at the, the moment. So hopefully they're going to uh, to have some tasty food to be able to, to boost that up. Not a, a huge turnout for the, the wedding, but hey, I guess this will do. Silence, please, everyone. We shall now begin. We are gathered here today to join Hudson and Rodson in matrimony. Hudson... Before the eyes of the witnesses and before those of the goddess Hylia, do you take Ronson to be your wife, to have and to hold in good times and bad? Ooh. I do. Excellent. And Ronson, before the eyes of these witnesses and before those of the goddess Hylia, do you take Hudson as your lawfully wedded husband in sickness and in health? And do you also vow to name your children in accordance with the Bolson Construction Naming Guidelines? <laughs> but wait a moment. Those vows are not traditional by anyone's standards. Uh, what makes you say that? Mohawk. They're as traditional as it gets. I don't think she meant traditional as in the sense of the word. A vow of undying tradition. A vow of guidelines compliance. I'll take that vow. <laughs> think... Or future generations. <sighs> well, those are the guidelines. I do. Excellent. <clears throat> and so, dearly beloved, please help me in greeting this newly married couple. 
I wish this new couple nothing but the utmost happiness as they set out on this journey of marital bliss. So I guess they need to carry on the tradition of naming all of their children with Sun at the, <laughs> the end of their name. <laughs> Yay! Oh! Is, it, is there still something else I need to do? The wedding was a shining beacon in an otherwise dark, dangerous world. Uh, they're a little bit taken back by a few of the vows, but everything worked out fine. It's only p polite to give your blessing. Oh, I should go give them my blessing. <laughs> I think we finally might be closing the the book on the the Towery Town chapter with uh, with this. So yeah, let's go and uh, let's go speak to, to them. Hey, it's you. Thank you for attending the ceremony and building the town and getting everyone here and doing everything else. Not to mention. Congratulations! Thank you! And now Tarry Town looks like a real town at long last. This was all possible because of you. I can't thank you enough for all of the hard work you did. All right, this is for you. Three diamonds! Okay, now it was worth it. These were found inside the boulders that we smashed when we were clearing the land. Rodson and I have no use for them. You can take them. What about selling them and then buying loads of stuff? Anyone could use them for that. Let me, should I just sell them? Let's just sell them like straight away here. I should get a, a pretty good deal from this guy. Uh, seeing as he um has all of these, uh, like he's kind of like the expert in this stuff. He knows the value. I got seven diamonds right now. So I'm going to keep some of them because there might be something useful for me to do. Let's sell like four of them now. 2,000 rupees. You can't argue with that. You can't argue with 2,000 rupees. And that was pretty much all just from completing that quest there. Any other things... I'd want to buy... I kind of just want some normal arrows, to be fair. Bomb arrows are always good fun, though. Seeing as I have, like, a bunch more money, let's go on a bit of a, a spending spree and splash out on some, some new bomb arrows uh, as well. Right then, that is Tarry Town complete. So I was hoping I was going to get this done quite quick because I really want to go and get some more, um, uh, some more memories, if I can. So where's the, uh... Oh, how do I get the old pictures up? Um, God, I can't remember how to do this. Is it... Oh, there we go. Memories? Nope. That is not what I'm after. How do I have to, sorry, it's been a little bit while since I recorded the last episode. So here we go. The album. Of course, the album. So these three I've done already. So I need to track down all of these other places. Hmm. I thought there was going to be more that I recognized. So these ones where you can see the castle, you can kind of work out from them. I think I know where that bridge is as well. That one seems to be the most obvious one, though, because that's the place near uh, Gerudo Town, isn't it? That's like the, the place that I climbed on the top of when I was dressing as a lady by that oasis. So I reckon I should be able to, to find that one because I've been I've been skipping out on a bunch of these memories and I kind of want to want to get back into the, the swing of things if I, if I can. So let's go and see if we can track down that one. So it should be... It's somewhere... Around, there's an oasis somewhere around here. Oh, is that the oasis there? I think it might be here that I need to go to. So let's just go and mark that there like that. Oh, no, or is it here? No, I think it might be there. So let's go to... I still I still think here might be the, the closest kind of travel point for me to, to go to. I could maybe uh, take a, a sand seal to get over to there. But it doesn't take uh, too long to, to run over there. But yeah, I have been badly neglecting doing all of these... Um, Oh yeah, doing all of these uh, these memories. And I was always trying to like keep it in the back of my mind, like the places in the pictures while venturing around the world. But I get distracted. You know I get distracted. I get really, really distracted. So <laughs> I'm sure I've got plus some of those areas. Like there's that statue of like the, the horse thing. And I must have seen that. There's no way I haven't seen that. I've basically explored like the majority of the map at this point. There's no way I haven't seen it. But I obviously just at the, the point I didn't remember it. If you did see me seeing it, I want to remind me where I saw it. Uh, feel free to, to do that because it would help me out. But first things first, uh, let's go and uh, let's go and dress up in my ladies' clothing because it's going to be rather hot here otherwise. And if I do need to go into Degrudo Town, then I'm going to be able to, to do that. So, oh, oh, it's saying. So where I marked on my map was in that. I thought it was in this direction though. Oh, yeah, I think that's it there. Okay, I think I marked the wrong thing. I think that's the the place that I want to, to head to. Uh, so let me just go and uh, and speed up until I arrive there. Okay, I've just about arrived at where I was heading to. Uh, as you saw, I got into a, a few scruffs on my, my way down here. Got some good loot though, so that's all jolly good. Right then, so that's that's the thing I thought was in the picture. And I think looking at it now, I think it is right, isn't it? That's got to be it. That's got to be it there. So it looks to be like, I think it's on the other side of this lake. 
around there should be the the spot. So if you don't know what these are, basically, uh, these are memories that Link has had of his times from like a hundred years ago. And basically, going back in these same areas uh, reminds him. You don't really get too much from it. Oh, here it is. You can see the glowing... Oh, why didn't I just see that glowing area? I obviously just didn't walk around this place properly. I was right next to it. I was probably standing like a meter away from that point, but I didn't start it. But hey, I was able to, to track it down this time. Uh, so let's go back in time 100 years. And let's see the, the memory, uh, which I had forgotten from all of that time ago. It's looking a little bit nicer in that picture just because of the, the sunset, but <laughs> oh well, it's a little bit chilly as we, uh, we are right now. But let's go and uh, find out, yeah, as I said, what happened all of those many years ago as Link uh, remembers times gone by. Things haven't changed that much, to be fair. <laughs> That's basically what just happened. There was someone being attacked by the, the Yiga Clan people, and I just went and saved them. And okay, I wasn't saving Zelda just now, but it looks like still, after all of this time, Link is there still just saving people from the, the Yiga Clan uh, as well. So there we go. That was a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool memory. So what I kind of want to do now is... I want to go and see if I can do some some sand seal racing because there's some people that like I spoke to a while ago and they're all like stroppy with me. They're all like, ah, you can't do the, the sand seal racing. But I want to kind of work out what it is that I need to be able to, to do. It might have actually been where that oasis was. It is like behind Gerudo Town somewhere around there. So I might actually use like a sand seal to get over there because maybe to do it, you are going to have to bring your own sand seal anyway. So let me once again speed up until I've arrived over there and let's see if we can do some sand seal racing because I just love riding the, the sand seals. It's just always fun. <laughs> Okay, I think I've just arrived at where I needed to be. I've brought my my very own sand seal as well. Oh, I'm a bit I'm a bit chilly. Actually, maybe I need to wear this outfit. Maybe that's why it didn't work last time. Anyway, let's go and speak to them and let's see whether we can actually join in with this. I think this was where the uh, the sand seal races were. Look, look at those hairdos though. That puts my hair to shame. That one on the right. <laughs> You again? Don't bother Tally while she's getting pumped for the sand seal race. Okay, this is the right place. Now that the Divine Beast is gone, we can finally use the race course. Actually, did you want to try to be- Yes, this is it. Tally's record. I'll warn you, they don't call her Dame of the Dunes for nothing. Uh, who are you to- Yeah, I just want to do it. Just say- Just yes. You've never heard of Hyrule's pastime? The world famous sand seal racing? I thought everyone knew about it. Isn't that shocking, Tally? <clears throat> you surf with a sand seal and race to the finish line while also going through the arches. That's sand seal racing. And if you get off your shield or leave the course bounds, you are disqualified. Tally's record is 1 minute 30 seconds. If you can beat that record, the trophy is yours. Ah. This is the grand trophy that's been passed down by 10,000 years of sand seal racing champions. Sounds like I might get a shrine out of this. Tally, here is the current champion. Will you try challenging her record? Of course I will. I forgot to mention, since you're racing against the champ's record, it will be 50 rupees per race. I'm glad I got those diamonds. All right, payday. Enough talk, let's begin. I think these are scammers. I think they're, <laughs> they're having me on here. <laughs> it looks like I didn't need to, to bring my, old, uh, my own sand still anyway, but hey, good to, to have my own. A challenger has appeared to take on the Gerudo Sandsill race. Apparently one who does not mind risking life and limb. But will our current record fool the one set by our undefeated champion? The incomparable beast of the desert, the Sandsill, is ready to ride. 
Can our new contestant reach the goal in less than 1 minute 30 while still passing under every arch? The suspense is killing me. I'm going to start the countdown. Three, two, one, and go. All right, so one minute 30 to be. I'm kind of, oh, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm too cold for starters. Let me just <laughs> change my outfit mid-race. That's probably uh, never happened in a, in one of the, the sandsill races before where someone like completely changes their outfit in the middle of a race. <laughs> but hey, I was chilly. I needed to, to do that. And right, I guess I need to... I need to do a lot of dashing, I guess, because I want to keep the, the speed up. Oh, where's the next arch? Oh, is that just straight ahead of me? Why is there, like, so much stuff in the way around here? Oh, I think there's a Korok seed there. Did you see that to the left? I'm getting distracted again. I need to stop getting distracted. Right, I, I think that I'm probably going to need more than one attempt. I doubt I'm going to nail this first go, just because I don't know where the, the course is. I think eventually, once I learn with the, the courses, I'll be able to, to do it better. So far, so good, though. Like, these arches, they seem bigger than, like, the rings that I had to, to ride through before as part of the, the DLC. So these are a little bit easier to, to make their way through. It's just a, a very littered course. There's just, like, rubble and just mess all over the place. And I do not want to, to smash into that. That was a pretty nice sneaky shortcut there. Hopefully that's going to, to do well. And, and there are rocks. There are rocks making their way across the course. That was a... Oh, dear. Oh, God, there's people, like, dropping them down. Were they like, I think there's like enemies around there that are like dropping rocks down and then just straight enemies that might be attacking me here. Let's go through here as fast as we can. Is this normal? Is this normal for the, the races? Oh, is that the finish line? If that's the finish line, I'm going to be way under the time. That was a pretty good run. I think I'm going to destroy the time. Not even close. Not even close. <laughs> that was like 13 seconds faster. I destroyed her time. I mean, she's still got better hair than me, but in terms of sandstill racing, then she's going to have her work cut out to be able to, to beat that time again. <laughs> that was a cool course. I didn't expect the enemies and them to be dropping rocks on my head as I was riding. I don't know if that's standard sandstill racing procedure. I don't know how they would get all of the rocks back up there every time, but hey, I was able to do it and I get my prize. And I think this is probably going to make a shrine up here, I reckon. Perfect. I believe this belongs to you. Oh, at least she's a good sport about it. I thought she was going to be all stroppy about it and go, yeah, you got lucky. This trophy is something special, you know. Our champions have passed down a legend about it for 10,000 years. The legend goes, when the holy jewel is offered unto the pedestal, the chosen one will be granted a new power. Oh, hello. But that power has never been granted to anyone, not even me, obviously. And yet... I sense a power emanating from you, the likes of which I have never felt in anyone else. You should give it a shot. Well, I might as well. I got nothing to lose. And so, a new champion is born. Yay! Yay! Oh, everyone's so excited. Oh, that's good. I thought she was going to be all stroppy and moaning about me beating her time. And oh, they've all gone. They didn't, they didn't hang around to see whether this actually works or not. But hey, I have a feeling that this is going to, to be successful. But it says I get a new power. I thought it was just going to make a shrine pop up. But instead, I'm going to literally get a new power, which is something that I didn't expect. So let's see what that's going to be. Oh, is this a shrine? Okay, we are having a shrine pop up. Uh, this is quite good, because hopefully if I'm able to complete it, it's going to put my health up. So I've, been, I've been low health for ages. One of the problems is having more hearts now that I've boosted my hearts up. So it means I need to eat more to be able to, to heal myself, which means I'm worried that Link's going to get really fat. They should probably do that. That would be a really funny thing. Like, if you just eat loads of really unhealthy stuff, you just end up getting really, really fat. That reminds me, I got given, like, a really weird food from someone. Now, let me have a look at it quick on what it was. Uh, the, when I saved that person from the Yiga clan person, they gave me a chili egg pudding. <laughs> so if I fancy having a, a chili egg pudding, then <laughs> I can help myself to, to having a chili egg pudding then. All right then, though, we have a shrine. I don't know if this is going to be, like, a proper shrine or, like, one of the the, the reward shrines where they just give me a present. I kind of hope that it is a proper shrine. It does look like it might just be one of the ones where they give me the, the power, though. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to be a thing in a, in a chest. What is, what is this new power, then? Is it just going to be, like, a weapon or a bit of armor that does something? Surely they're not going to give me, like, a proper big new ability. Uh, oh, they gave me a pretty good shield then, but I couldn't pick it up, so I should probably uh, ditch one of my old shields. I'm sure I've got a few rubbish ones. I haven't actually got that many 
that many shield slots to to be honest uh unique shape uh for mid uh i get rid of that one i don't do too much aerial combat we will we will leave that one down there and we can grab this shield because it just seemed to be way better and i could probably uh, use it in a uh, in future sand seal racing if i need to you have to have a shield you can't ride a sand seal uh unless you have a, a shield so we are gonna get another spirit orb this might be my fourth one i've kind of uh, lost track a little bit with how many uh, I actually had, but I think this might be- yeah, there we go, that was my, my fourth one. So, I think as I said, I'm going to continue boosting my stamina for now, just until I've completed that full next ring, and then I'm going to go all out on heart containers. I know it probably makes more sense for me to boost up my heart containers <laughs> overall, but- I get really annoyed when I run out of stamina when I'm sprinting around, so it just makes me happy, and I need to complete the circle. I just can't leave a little gap in that circle. So after that, I'm going to go heart containers until the end of the game, but first I'm going to go and boost my stamina, and I still think there's quite a lot of shrines that I haven't done yet. There's a bunch that I, I probably haven't discovered yet, and I also have a bunch of these um, uh, these shrine quests as well. Uh, not a huge amount of them, but yeah, I do have a few of these as well. So these are going to be like four guaranteed shrines that I'll be able to, to track down if I go and do some of those missions. So I might go and do some of them next now. So I think I'm going to do, uh, for now, what the, the general plan is uh, for, for Zelda. Of course, feel free to, to leave a comment if you want to suggest something else, but I think I'm going to do those shrines because they're important. Uh, I'm also going to uh, try and do some more of the, the, the memories if I can go and try and uh, find some more of them. And also just kind of boosting up my power a little bit before I go and battle Ganon. But I think I won't bother doing like uh, too much more exploring or the, the other normal side quests, uh, just because I can kind of do that outside of episode, just so uh, the series doesn't literally go on forever. And sorry, I'm probably making you dizzy. Ugh, I made myself dizzy. <laughs> anyway, though, that is going to be the end of this episode here. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. As always, links in the description to a future episodes of Zelda if you want to jump into to them. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!